So I'm going for Dark Aether for a second time. First time was on my PC, this time on my PlayStation. And every episode, I take suggestions from you guys in the comments on what weapon you want to see me do and what map. And this has slowly evolved into you guys becoming sick and deranged with the challenges you're trying to give me. So, you know what? We're making a challenge series. This is where the challenges are gonna go. But since this is the first episode, I get to pick the challenge and I'm not gonna make it easy on myself because today I'm gonna be playing with one of these bad boys. Make sure you leave your challenges for me down below. Try to keep it entertaining, try to keep it fun. I know you guys wanna see me suffer, but if I'm literally doing nothing, like the no movement challenge or something stupid like that, it's not gonna be that great of a video. But keep in mind, our top comment will be the one that we do next. But we got a few things to go over before we get into a game of zombies here. Technically, this is a controller, but it doesn't necessarily work as a controller in COD. I'm gonna plug it in and show you what I mean. So right now, this is just keyboard and mouse. You can see me moving my mouse right here. Now I'm about to plug in the guitar. All right, plugging it in now. You heard it connect, and the second I start moving it, you can see it freak out. It's going to keep bringing up this little news screen. Anytime I try to scroll, it just it just doesn't work. So as you can imagine, when I got the idea for this video and I went to go plug this in, seeing that it didn't work, I was a little upset. But I didn't stop there because I found this handy dandy program called Joy to Key, which is basically joystick to keyboard or whatever. But it basically just means take a controller, change those inputs into keyboard and mouse inputs. So. I did just that. All right, I'm gonna try to keep this as level as I can to show you guys all the inputs that I added to this. So this right here, this is the W key. This is how I'm gonna be moving forward. This is my F key. This is how I'm gonna interact with things like doors, buying weapons, pack a punching, all that good stuff. And this, the yellow key, this is my left click. This is how I'm gonna be able to kill some zombies. And I have blue as my shift, that's how I'm gonna run. And orange is my space, and that's how I'm gonna jump. But you might be thinking, how am I gonna move left and right? Well, I'm gonna push down on the strum. That's how I'm gonna look left. And then I'm gonna push down on the whammy bar, and that's how I'm gonna look right. Uh, this might not make a whole lot of sense, so I'm gonna hop into a, a private game really quick and show you how I'm gonna move. All right, we're finally here in game. As you can see, it says controller locked. That means it's detecting the controller input. That's gonna stay up there the whole time, but it's using our keyboard and mouse inputs that we put in. So as you can see, red here is moving forward. Hold on, we're in front of something. All right, so red here is moving forward. And if I strum down, I have it set to a mouse movement to the left. So this is how I'm going to be moving left. And then I hit my whammy bar, which is going right. So this is how I'm going to be getting around. And then in zombies, obviously, they're going to get a lot faster once uh, once the rounds start going up. So what we need to do, we need to sprint. How are we going to do that? Hitting down on our blue key. So this is how we're going to be moving around the map, trying to get around, trying to get past all the zombies. I think we can survive. I think I can move pretty decent with this, honestly. I say as I hit the wrong direction, it's going to take a little bit to get used to. But I think it's, it's pretty possible. And then, like mentioned before, my yellow button is going to be how I attack, how I swing my E tool. And that's going to be the weapon we're going to be using. I don't think I can aim a weapon with this. Now, the one key I haven't mentioned is my field upgrade. Field upgrade, very important thing in zombies. You know how we're going to do it? Same way you activate Star Power Guitar Hero. What? Put it down. Go ahead, go down. There we go. All right, that was a little anticlimactic. I don't know why he just held it there, but for us to use our field upgrade, we have to tilt the guitar. So I think that's a pretty cool feature. I think we have everything we need here. Now all that's left to do is play, but I'm going to warn you ahead of time. You're probably going to be hearing a whole lot of strumming. So I'm sorry in advance. But now when it comes down to maps, I have to go ahead and choose one. I'm going to go on Firebase because that's the map I'm the most familiar with. So I probably have the best chance of doing well here. Let's go ahead, hop in and see how it goes. All right, here we go. Riding on in. Let's see how long we can survive. My goal is at least round 10. Now I'm going to try to do a good job of keeping the guitar in frame. Holy shit, what is going on? What the fuck was that? We're having a little bit of an issue here. Now I can move right pretty well and I can move forward. But I move right extremely slow. I can still swing, which is good. But I have to move completely right to hit something. Because whenever I try to go left uh, while strumming down, it spins out of control and looks upward. Look, I'm not even touching anything. Oh, of course, I, I stopped touching and it tries to prove me wrong. But I can't look down at all. What the... F oh, my Lanta. This is just working fine. Okay, so we can move forward. We can swing. We can sprint. We can jump. We can move right. When I try to move left, I just spin. Why? Okay, I guess we're gonna have to deal with only moving right. Our moving left does not work. So we have to do a, a complete 180 which is uh, not optimal. Now I'm gonna do everything I can to try to keep the guitar in frame. I, I scooted way back to play. Uh, hopefully you can see enough of it to understand what's going on. 
because I really don't understand what's going on and I'm using it. But one big downfall of this is that we can't lay down. So no loose change for us. We're definitely going to die. We can't move left. You saw in multiplayer that it works, but for whatever reason, it's like different in zombies. I press down and it goes crazy, but in multiplayer, I just tap down and nothing happened. Actually, I have an idea. Okay, we can turn right. We can turn left. Now let's get out of here. Up the stairs, open the door. We opened it. Let's get through it. Okay. Holy. I have no idea how we're going to be able to turn power on. This is a nightmare. I, I cannot get a grip on these controls. Okay. Moving forward. Interact. Shut up, Peck. I know how to do that one. Yeah. Let's get out of here, zombie. Our goal? Get power on. Maybe even get Pack-a-Punch. I don't know if it's going to be possible. Uh, this, this feels like a speed run to getting Carpal Tunnel. And getting stressed out. Oh my lanta. I have no idea how we're going to do this. All right. I'm going to try to get comfortable with these controls by running around for a second. All right. We can very easily turn right. Turning right's no issue. That makes sense to me. Hit the whammy bar. Turning left though. Hitting blue does not make that much sense. Every time I go to turn left, I, I, I swing as well. I don't know what's going on. Uh oh. Get off me. Swing. Not that way. No. Oh, we're already down. Okay. We can use our self revive and all to do that. And let's get moving. Get out of there. Run. There we go. Okay. Got him. Easy. Round four. The worst thing about the controller lock thing is that it covers what round we're on, which sucks. I can't even check my stats, I don't think. Oh, wait, yeah, I can. I can hit select over here. Okay, cool. Get out of here. We desperately need to get power on. That way we can get some perks. Oh, what was what that power up? Double points. Let's go. We got to get as many kills as we can here during double points. We don't have a whole lot of time to use it. Oh my God, please hit him. This is gonna suck if there's a, a zombie on my right and it wants to pull left. Oh no, this is awful. Run, run, I'm in the wrong button. Oh, this is bad. Come here. There we go, okay. Let me open this door. Let's go. Look at that, we bought two doors and we're on round five. We're on to something. Oh, come on. We're gonna need to polish up our movement if we wanna be able to survive. Can we open up this door? Let's go. Can we grind the rail? What's my jump again? Do I have a jump? Oh shit, now we're spinning. We're spinning out of control. Anytime I start spinning, I need to adjust my mouse. This is awful. Swing at him, swing at him. Get him. No, no, we died. We had 51 kills somehow. I have no idea how, but I'm gonna hop in again. I think we might need to change our controls a little bit. All right, here we go, game two. I have switched my controls. Maybe not actually, what the hell? All right, it's fixed. I figured out what was going on. I had it as move mouse left and click instead of just click. Now I don't know what my jump is. Do I even have a jump? You gotta be fucking kidding me. We might not be able to jump. So we have no mantling whatsoever, which is gonna suck. Get off me. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. I believe. Okay. My movement. I need to get used to. So we can sprint like this. This is left. This is right. Okay. All right. We can move a little bit. We open the door. How do we not have enough? We killed all the zombies in round one and we don't have enough. There we go. Now we can open the door. Oh shit. Okay. Here we go. We're making our way up. We're working. We're doing it. We hit the portal perfectly. Shut up, Peck. Okay. I think we can do this now. I I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little more confident in the controls. There we go. We're getting kills now. We're going to be running in circles mostly. And it looks like I have motion blur on the way like it's trying to accelerate the mouse. But it's going to be really important that we try to not have to use our self revive for as long as we can because it's only going to get tougher and tougher. I'm just going to stay sprinting. We have that figured out. Honestly, looks like normal gameplay now. I'm in this. I'm a, I'm a gamer. Okay, I missed. I missed one, but I got the other. We got the follow up. Oh, what is that? A max ammo? We're saved. You know, I was really in need of ammo. Uh-oh. I'm in need of a fucking doctor. Holy shit. Okay, I gotta get used to the controls now. I said I was, but it's it's kind of a little bit of a, like a, a mind fuck trying to do this. This is so difficult. You just come to me. How about that? There we go. Okay, round four. What was our previous record? Five? As long as we're, we're doing better each time, I'm fine with that. I'm gonna keep going until I can get Pack-a-Punch. No. Oh, turn, please. Swing! Hit him! We gotta get out of there. We can't stay still. Gone. Oh, insta-kill. Perfect for our weapon that already kills instantly. 
And we're down. Okay, so much for me saving myself revive. I just feel like an idiot using this. This is like trying to pat your head and rub your belly at the same time. All right, let's try to open this door. I think we can do it. Ready? Watch this. Check this out. Bam. And we're going up the stairs. Look at me go. Can I open this one? I can. Sick. Uh-oh. I'm getting caught. I can't grind the rail because I can't even jump. And we're going to turn on the reactor. Let's go. We started a reactor. That's something. Now, can we get the zombies off of the reactor is the real question. Good thing that most of them aren't going to be coming after me. Key term on most because there are going to be some coming after me. There we go. How do I move again? Oh, get them. Swing at them. Oh, this is ridiculous. How do I get over here? Okay, I can run, but my accuracy is so off. Hit him. Hit him. Oh, yeah, we're, we're screwed. I don't see any way we get this done. I don't have, like, a tight turn radius. I can't turn on a dime. Please be a nuke. Oh, my Atlanta, it's not. Okay, left, forward, left, swing, and swing, and swing. Got him. Round five. Let's go. Oh, we got the reactor done. Okay. Can we even get to the next one? Let's get the other two back online, shall we? Yeah, whatever, Peck. I don't see you trying to play with a guitar. Oh, let's go. We open the door. We're schmoovin'. Never mind, we're not schmoovin'. I'm going the wrong way. Let's turn on this reactor with this button. Now, the bad thing about this one is they put both reactors... Or they put the reactors on different floors. So, can I even attack them? There we go. Yep, let's just spin the wrong way. We're, we're committed. Okay. Get them. <laughs> This is so bad. And I, what I just thought of is I don't know how I'm going to move my like cursor left and right when I go to like get pack a punch. Because it thinks I'm on keyboard and mouse. Oh, I accidentally just used my my uh field upgrade. Damn, I need to save that. Okay, we got two reactors down though. Okay, we need to go this way. I just got to get used to the controls a little bit more. The main problem here is me trying to figure out what button does what. Because it's not all registering for me. My brain's too slow. I got to remember, right is whammy bar. Blue is left, and we need to open this door. Oh my god, this is a struggle. We actually need to take the stairs down. Oh, let's go. First try. Let's start the reactor. I already have my hand ready on green. Bam. Now, this is the reactor that normally has the most trouble. It's going to have the most zombies. Oh, please hit them. Thank you. Bonus points. We're going to need them. I'm so glad that these reactors are distracting these zombies. I want to get to the point where I can just stand in a corner and swing. All right, I need to get these guys off of this one. Okay, I keep turning the wrong way. This one, that one. Turn, forward, this one, that one. Okay, we're learning a bit. The zombie over here needs to go. How do I get to him? Okay, I think I can get this. It's just a straight shot. Bam. Nope, turn, move forward. Nope. There we go. Round six. We're gonna have a whole wave of zombies coming at us here. I need to get at least like one kill. I think we need one more kill to get this reactor on. There's gonna be so many zombies coming at us. Okay, I, I just realized I don't need to be holding my sprint key. I can just tap it to turn it on. So I can kind of just run around. If I get the kill, I get the kill. There we go. That's the reactor. We got it. We got power on, baby. We got power on using a Guitar Hero guitar. Now let's see if we can pack a punch. Oh my god, I forgot about Mimics. Oh, I forgot there's Assault Waves too. I have no idea how I'm going to even get past that. I should have chosen a different map. Okay, we're just going to jump off here. Somehow we're still alive. Oh my god, I'm Mimic. Can I move? Run! Run! 12 HP! Keep going! Swing! Run! Swing! Run! Go! Get out of there! Scram! Oh, I'm dead! Oh, this is ridiculous. This is so difficult to do. Look at that. Look, this, I'm moving my mouse like this. All right, I'll do one more, but I think we're going to try D Machine this time. All right, here we go. Flying on into D Machine. Maybe we'll do a little better here. I feel like every time I move one finger, I forget exactly what everything does, but I think we got it now. I, that, I'm completely lying. I don't got it. But we're going to try. D Machine actually might be way harder. I already don't do well on this and keyboard and mouse. Get him. Let's go. Okay, maybe I just don't need to sprint. Let me just try swinging. The circles I'm moving in are not tight enough. I need to just stop moving when I turn. I don't know if I can do that in zombies. Oh my God. I'm getting myself stuck in a corner already. Come here. Come to me. There we go. At least here we can kind of just run around until we get enough for uh, pack a punch. This is so ridiculous. I can't even believe I'm doing this. This is outrageously difficult. Uh-oh. 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 We need to get out of here. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. I keep trying to turn when I'm trying to actually like swing at somebody. All right, there we go. We made it through another round. What was that double points? We'll take it. Come on. Can we get a kill before double points expires? Nope. What was that zombie doing? He was just moonwalking away. 
I'm starting to build a habit of just hitting the whammy bar every time I go to do something, which is not good. What round did we make it to last time? Six? Maybe seven? I think it was just six. Let's try to just beat round six. Let's open this door. Let's open this door. And let's sit in penthouse. What is this? Double points? Bonus points? We take those. Get off of me. Get off of me. Die. Come here. Nope. Die. Get it. Okay. Maybe we just sit up here. We can sit up here and try to survive. We're, we're getting it. We're getting kills. We're not moving very much. We're getting kills. Come here. Go on. You next? Sleep. Go to bed. And you're next. Round five already. We're catching up. Come here, zombies. What is that? Max ammo. Perfect. That's going to help us out a lot. Come on. Get over here. I... I didn't even shake the controller. Okay. It Tesla stormed. Didn't mean to do it, but it happened. What's this? Oh, it's a nuke. Let's go. The one time I want a nuke. Do I have enough to open these doors yet? I'll go one more round up here. One more round, and I think we should be able to open all those doors. And this has to be the worst way to play zombies. And my hand's starting to, like, cramp up. This is awful. Uh-oh. Did not mean to move like that. Oh, no. Come on. Just come to me. Come to Papa. Nobody knock me, though. You guys just gotta keep swinging. Keep swinging. Let's go. I'm insane. Check out this insane gameplay. Got a butcher metal. We're going in. All right, these might be the last few zombies, so I'm gonna try to make my way down to pack a punch. I right, open this. Let's go. Open the door up. Oh my god, get around the body. Let's open this. Jump down here. And I open this door. Let's go. We're doing it. We're almost there. Open it up. Can we turn it on? Okay, we got power on. Let's go. Now, can we get everything on? We need to turn the terminals on. Zombie, get away. Okay, terminal one is on. Terminal two is on. There we go. We're gonna spawn in the anomaly. Swing at him. All right, let's hit the anomaly up. Let's go. We're actually doing it. We're moving. Okay, now can I get to the part in time? That's the big question here. We really need to rely on our movement because we're kind of on a timer here. I think we have about like two minutes to find it. That's weird. Why is our aether tunnel over here? All right, let's go in it. I go in it. Use it. Let's go. All right, can I pick up the pack-a-punch part is the real question. Let's go. We got it. Not going to make me buy the door either. Perfect. Now can we complete the machine? We can. Let's go. I'm saying a whole lot of let's goes, but it's 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 definitely a let's go moment if I can get Pack-A-Punch going. Now all we got to do is save up for Pack-A-Punch. We need a thousand more points. What am I going to do if a Megaton shows up? I'm screwed. Oh, and the biggest thing here is our sh the shower's not opened up. That's where I was kind of planning on sitting. Can I even hit this? Okay. Finally got him after like eight swings. Oh, the gas is going to kill me. Oh, no fucking way. Can I shoot him? Idiot. Gotta use our self-revive. No way I'm about to die to dogs. I'm just gonna sit here and swing. No! 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 Oh, so close to Pack-A-Punch. I had 100 kills. 100! I can't, I can't stop until I get Pack-A-Punch. I'm gonna keep going. All right, flying in for what feels like our 50th time today. Starting to get a little more used to the controls, but at the same time, I'm forgetting them every time I go. There we go. Quick triple. Come here. Sleep. Okay. Gone. Oh, I hit the wrong button. He would have been gone. Come here. Sleep. Where's your pal? Come here. Gone. So far, social distancing challenge. I haven't been hit once. Let's just go ahead and open the door already. I'm going to sit right here. They got to come to me. Actually, probably being at a higher elevation does not help. I got to wait till I have enough money. Okay, we're making moves. How much more do we need? Come here, last one. And bonus points. All right, we for sure have enough to open this now. Oh, it's only 7,500 or 750, my bad. All right, we'll sit in penthouse until we have enough money to go down. Come on, take your time. Come on over. Got him. All right, this is the real test. Can we just survive by swinging? I think so. Doing pretty well so far. Oh, there's armor there. Can I even grab that? I can't aim down to pick it up. I'm gonna have to like angle myself in such a way to be able to pick it up. A nuke. Okay, let's turn away from that. Walk forward, turn back. Can we pick up the armor? Let's try to inch forward until we can. Let's go, we got armor. We're gonna wait a second. And I accidentally grabbed it because I hit the wrong button. Either way, the zombies started spawning when I hit it, so that's not that bad. Maybe I shouldn't have hit it though. We need points. Uh-oh, they're already on me. Hit a zombie, get him off. Go ahead, bring it. You're not going to win. I'm too great. Look at this. Look at this intense gameplay. Okay, we have our field upgrade. I remember not to violently move my controller. Round six. This is the round we always die on. All we got to do is make it past it and then get Pack-A-Punch somehow. I don't know how I'm going to be able to exit the Pack-A-Punch menu. I don't have an exit button. We're just going to have to try to leave a zombie at the end of this round. I think we'll have enough by then. Max ammo. Perfect. We're safe. I was running dangerously low on ammo there. Okay, there's one guy left and we need to get out of here. Oh, there's two guys left. Whatever. Oh no, I accidentally tilted it. Right, we have our Tesla storm active. Did not mean to do that. We got our both our doors open. Go ahead and open automatic door. 
Let's open that. Let's open that. We're getting very close to being able to get pack a punch. We're going to be a little short, just like last time. But if we can survive it, it'll all be worth it. Now we just need to turn power on. We turned the right terminal on last time, making the portal spawn over on the pond. So let me try turning on this portal. Maybe this has something to do with where the anomaly spawns. Or where the anomaly makes us go and get the pack-a-punch part. So let's try that. There we go. And our anomaly's coming on in. I'm gonna loop around from the basement area here. And I missed the stairs. I go back. And missed them again. Okay, we have literally one zombie left. I did not mean to kill that guy. Come on. Look at the anomaly and open it. Thank you. Get away, zombie. Don't corner me. Don't knock me. Run. Okay, we made it. Barely. I have no idea how. Okay, we need our pack-a-punch part. Looks like it spawned in the location that we want. We just have to get there. Almost there. At least we get to explore the beautiful dark aether for a moment. Open that up. Let's go. We're making our way in. Where's our part? Oh, it's right there. We will collect it. Our shower is now open, so that's good. This is the area we're going to be sitting at. And hopefully we don't die. I don't even know if we have a space button or a jump button anymore, but it's okay. We have our pack-a-punch machine on now. And I'm going to sit in here and hope for the best. Round seven. This might be a new record. If we can get past this round, it's a new record. And if we get pack-a-punch, we're done here. We're going to get pack-a-punch and see how long we can survive. But getting pack-a-punch is a huge milestone for us. Dog round, per usual. But here they have to run directly at me. And hopefully I can get them with the swing and they don't just start to hoard me. I'm actually going to move right up to the door. That way they don't get around me to the side. I can't hit them. I can't hit them and they can't hit me. Okay, that one can. There we go. Yeah, that's three of them. Oh, no. The gas. Forward. Please hit it. Keep swinging. Keep swinging. Keep swinging. Don't let him hit me. There we go. We made it through. We still don't even have enough for Pack-A-Punch. I need to survive this round. Desperately. Come on. Right here should be good. I just gotta sit here and spam my swing. If I can make it through this, we can get Pack-A-Punch. And I, I, I will be a completed man. There's a Megaton. This sucks. Maybe I'll still be able to take it down. Let's stay hopeful here. Let's stay hopeful. A nuke? Grab the nuke. Let's go. Can we get some damage on this Megaton while he's hurt? Let's go. We got him to split. I'm just going to sit here and swing. I don't care if he's immune. He's splitting. Okay. The bomber's taking damage. There we go. Okay, we got knocked. I get knocked down, but I'll get up again. You're never going to keep me down. Oh, shit. Okay, turn left. Move forward. Turn right. Swing. No, no. Turn the right way. No! We actually split the Megaton and killed one half of it. All right, I'm throwing out the whole Pack-a-Punch thing. I'm playing one last game. As far as we get is as far as we get. All right, we're moving in for our final game. And in this game, my headset is dying. So I gotta plug it in. Zombies, please don't kill me. Okay, this is starting to actually hurt my hand. So no matter what, this is our last game. Whatever happens, happens. I'm pretty proud of our the game we played right before this. Actually being able to split a Megaton is huge. What we need to do is somehow not use our field upgrade and save that for when the Megaton shows up. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we need to. I think that's the only way we take it out. Okay, we should be able to afford both doors to Penthouse now. These first doors are extremely cheap. We've made it. We're at Penthouse. Let's just get in our corner and swing until we have enough money. No, I barely even moved it. Oh, that's so stupid. I hardly even moved the controller and it's like, okay, there you go. There's your there's your field upgrade. That sucks. There goes our plan. Maybe the Megaton won't spawn till late if we don't turn power on till late. I actually don't know how that works on this map. I'm gonna leave one zombie after this round. We should be good to go. How many are we left? Okay, we have two left. Open the door. We have 10,000. I think that should be enough. At least I hope so. Open, open on your own door. Open the gate, please. Oh, no. We're going to have to hit him. Oh, we had to kill all of them. No. This is not good for us. Open the door. Okay, open this door. Please. Forward. Open. Forward. Power. Okay, let's try to get these on with these zombies out here. There we go. Run. We're going to go this way. Oh, come on. Get back. Get back. No. Okay, we are down, which is not good. Let's move right here. Revive. Forward. Power. Uh... Move and sprint. No, I'm stuck. I'm cornered. I'm done. This is game. This is fucking game. 
No! Oh, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to do in zombies. I don't know how to do this, but my hand hurts too much. I'm not, I don't know what kind of damage I'm doing it, doing to it. So I'm done. I quit using this. All right, we did everything we possibly could. We played three games on D-Machine, three games on Firebase. It could have been more than that. I don't know. I lost count, but my hand hurts. We did everything we could. Uh, we got power on in a lot of those games, but we just couldn't get pack punch. We were so close at least twice, but man, that, that was probably the most difficult thing I've ever had to do in zombies. On top of the controller being bad, I had to fight my brain telling me like what button does what. It was just awful, but hopefully this is a good introduction to our challenge series. Uh, I'm sorry about the gameplay. Obviously, it's not going to be too great with me playing on a controller, but hopefully you guys enjoyed my misery, but go ahead and leave your challenges for me down below. The top voted comment will be the challenge that we do next. I think that's where we're at to end the video. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please consider to subscribe and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.